What is up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of Our Life Beginnings and Always. I remember the title this time. Clan's Edition. Clan's Edition. Clan's Edition. Okay. Um, let's hit continue. Hopefully this time it's less laggy. Hopefully. I'm recording in MP4 now because I was recording in MKV files before and apparently that's why it was really really bad because that's apparently like the biggest file you can record in so hopefully this is gonna do better um we're in the moment of step one childhood so we're, we're going in order right yeah okay so let's do grown up okay one sweltering summer day you were in your living room with Lance, listening to the sounds of the birds chattering outside the window while you lay across the rug on the floor. Uh, wait, what's- uh, I'm gonna have to remember voices again. <laughs> wait, what's configuration? Is that where the settings are? I want to lower the music. Yeah, probably. It's like really loud. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> Music is so, the music was so loud. Uh, let's lower these. Okay, I think we're I think we're good. Lance's dad had dropped him off earlier, and your mom's had left the two of you, along with Lizzie, to play amongst yourselves. It had been too hot to go outside in the afternoon, at least according to mommy. So your sister was starting to get impatient, waiting for her golf class that evening. The three of you had had trouble finding something fun to do. The beach and the playground were off limits and you felt that it was too warm for anything like playing with your fuzzy toy animals. Then suddenly, a light came to Lizzie's big brown eyes and her smile spread wide across her face. Having an idea gave her a new wave of energy. Since we're stuck inside, we should be adults. They don't play outdoors anyway. They're always inside and telling everybody they're too busy to play. Oh my gosh, she's just calling everybody out. <laughs> Period. Lizzie. Lizzie calls people out. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Duh. I said why. It'll be fun. Duh. Oh my gosh. What do they do inside that we don't? Besides, I use the phone a lot. It says besides use the phone a lot. Oh, bes <laughs> besides. <laughs> I don't think he has a phone. I don't think Lance has a phone yet. We're doing great. We're doing great. <laughs> Excluding a small huff, Lizzie decides to ignore Lance. Well, that's rude. What do you think? Keith, what do you think? Do you want to? Uh. <laughs> Agree with Lance. Agree with Lance. Um. Number two is too positive. I, I, yeah, I feel like not three. So either either agree with Lance or say you want to. Well, let's just. I think we should agree with Lance. I feel like Keith wouldn't really want to. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> okay, Lance said it. That doesn't sound fun. Look at her face! Come on! Neither of you have, have had a, one single idea all day. She looks offended. <laughs> she is hunk's color scheme. Oh, she is. Little femme hunk. That's, that was such a weird sentence out of context. <laughs> sa sa sassy femme <laughs> Child you could, version. Oh my gosh. You could tell that Lizzie wasn't about to give in anytime soon. Fine. With her victory against Lance under her, be her belt, Lizzie turned to you, triumphant. Liz she looks so mean! <laughs> um, sorry, I have other stuff to do. Wait, so they're gonna- are they gonna play like house right now? Cause like... Oh, maybe. I have no idea though. Um... The parents... Could be... True. Plans. Okay, let's do f the first one then. Yeah, I'll try it, but it sounds boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll try it, but that sounds boring. 
It's not gonna be, I guarantee. Oh my gosh. Lizzie seemed more determined than ever, and you could only sigh. Satisfied that neither of you were about to bail on her, Lizzie thought over her options while you watched. After a few seconds, she clapped her hands together and beamed, apparently having settled on something without asking either of you. Look at this little tyrant. I vibe with Lizzie. She says no to democracy. Okay. Yes. As she should. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be a professional golfer. Keith, you and Lance can be... <laughs> that hesitation. A beach volleyball player, a gymnast, or a tennis player. Why? Why can't we pick anything we want? Because I'm a tyrant. <laughs> I, re I read the line. <laughs> okay. That's it. That was the line. Sure, sure. And we have to play sports as adults. Yep. But there's other kinds of sports too. Oh my god, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't the same. What do you think, Keith? Don't those choices sound super cool? You want to be that, huh? I want to be on BuzzFeed Unsolved. I don't want to play stupid <laughs> sports. I want to find Mothman. I want to find Mothman. <laughs> I want to find aliens. Um, um, you could, I would either nod or say it really doesn't. I think that goes with you. Ooh, okay. Um, let's let's start seeping in a little bit of that sassiness, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're siblings, so it, it's okay. The, the sassiness starts young. Yes. It really doesn't. Lizzie pouted, resting her hands on her hips and tapping her foot impatiently. Well, too bad. I made the plan and you are a part of it. So choose one already. Lizzie 2K20. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Lance was not impressed with Lizzie's attitude, though he didn't bother talking more about it for now. You thought over the list of possibilities. Beach volleyball, gymnastics, or tennis. Out of all of them, you'd prefer to play... Oh... Um, would we be taking I mean, options away from Lance if we choose one? Because I feel like, well, we can't pick for Lance anyway. I, I feel like Keith would do gymnastics because yeah, he's all... me too. Maybe Lance will just follow whatever he picks. Because <laughs> Maybe. It's like, I mean, Lance should be gymnastics too because like the whole... Wait, how much of Ultron did you watch? Did you see like his ribbon dance routine thing his rope dance thing no you didn't see the lover boy lance stuff no okay okay well we'll, ju we'll just pick gymnastics if you couldn't spend the afternoon doing cartwheels and handstands in the backyard then you might as well practice them inside there wouldn't be as much space as there was outside but you could still try yes that was clearly the top option clearly Clearly. I I guess I'll be a gymnast. Alright. Alright. <laughs> How about you, Cove? Oh, time to add the Cove counter. Oh. <laughs> Lance. I pick volleyball. I should have known. You know, I can see volleyball land, so valid. I can see volleyball land. Valid enough. Okay, so Keith, you're a famous gymnast, and Lance, you're, and you're on a popular volley beach volleyball team, and... Why does this sound like the beginning of a fan fiction? This sounds like a fanfic oh summary. She's definitely going to write a, a client's fan fiction. She writes a fanfic about her little brother and his friend. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Lizzie. Oh my god. She, yeah, she seems like the type who would. Lizzie's ponytail bobbed when she proudly stretched her arms wide. We're Olympic athletes who just completed a, who just competed in the Olympics. Lance didn't seem all that impressed with the announcement. He made a face and adjusted the glasses on his nose. <laughs> the anime glass shoes. <laughs> the thing. the one where you push it up with like 
your yeah. middle finger and your thumb. <laughs> That's really specific. Uh, that's what makes it fun. Anyway. She sounds like you! <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie marched back in, back and forth. Back and forth in front of us? Uh, getting lost in her own imagination. I won all gold medals and people are calling me the next Mickey Wright. Let's just pretend we know who that is. Um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? I guess we're not. <laughs> Lizzie stopped on the spot and turned on him, her brown eyes shining with impatience. It doesn't matter if you know who she is. It's a golf thing. You guys won medals too. Lance, your team was bronze. Because you're a tertiary character. Oh my and gosh. He you barely missed out on the gold and got silver. It's more real if we're not all first place. <laughs> I'm obviously the best out of all of you. Oh my gosh. Okay, silver sucks. I don't want silver. He probably stays silent, like, honestly. Yeah, yeah, probably silent or I'm okay with that. Yeah, um, it's just, I think he would be quiet. I, I yeah. Yeah. You stayed silent. Uh, oh, you stayed silent and looked at your hands. Next to you, Lance leaned toward Lizzie with a frown. Sorry. Lots of people lose at the Olympics. Them's the breaks. <laughs> then you're the one who did, not me. <laughs> I like how he <laughs> says that he's the one with the broken arm. I know. Yo, when are we going to sign his cast? Like, that's got to be a thing somewhere in here, right? I mean... Right? Like, you know what I'm waiting for? I want to see Grown Up Lizzie. She would be so cool. I'm waiting for that, too. We gotta get all through through all these first. Um, uh, Lizzie looked taken aback by Lance's declaration, as though the thought of her losing was completely absurd. Period. No <laughs> way. It wouldn't make sense. I'm already practicing my golf game. She took a golfing stance to make her point, pretending to swing her club and hit an invisible ball. So, what kind of house do you want to live in? Oh my gosh, she's going to put them like in like rundown huts and she's going to be living in a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> she, no, no, I, not a mansion. I like really a castle. resonate with Lizzie's character. She's going to end up marrying like some prince of England and living in Windsor. Or no, yes. what is it? It's like Buckingham Palace. I don't know where the royals <laughs> live. Lance hadn't changed his mind about winning, but thinking about where he's he'd live as an adult appealed to him apparently because he looked back at Lizzie with some of the anger fading. I'm going to live on a beach. Lizzie made a face at him, poking out her tongue. That sounds kind of boring. We already have that. No, not like the normal houses here with the street. On it, right on the sand by the water. Sand shack. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, all the tension was back. Wow, these two really don't like each other. Lizzie You're... going into angry mode once again. Angry. You hadn't even had a chance to choose what you, where you were gonna. Wait. Oh my gosh. Eh. You hadn't even had a chance to choose where you would want to live. That's not very. Fun or smart cove, you can't live on a bunch of sand and shells. What I want to, and I will. And I will. <laughs> <laughs> Lance narrowed his eyes at Lizzie, even though she stood half a head taller than him. You didn't give out a list of things to pick from this time, so I'm picking that. Why are we even playing pretend if we can't imagine anything? I'm breaking from the tyranny. <laughs> Anarchy! Gee, well, I'm gonna live in a mansion far away from here and far away from you. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I can't. <laughs> She's like Chloe Bourgeois with orange hair and tan skin. 
One is an indoor pool and a place to practice my award-winning golfing. It's not fair. How come you were yelling about mine when my when your idea is even more impossible? <laughs> Lizzie's- wow. They, they, this they is a roasted. really intense moment. We're they kids, roasted like... each other. Lizzie's face flushed red, her hands balling into fists at her sides. Oh no, she's gonna punch a boy. She's gonna punch a boy. It's gonna be the Arthur meme. Do it. <laughs> Do it, Lizzie. <laughs> Give him another cast. Oh my gosh. It's, it is not impossible, and it's better than yours. Disagreements always seemed to crop up when the two of them were together, and you always felt like you were stuck in the middle. Oh my gosh. Lance is gonna cry. I almost said COVID. Oh my god, no. His mouth is becoming like his eyebrows. <laughs> it's infecting oh my more gosh. parts of his body. No! But when it came to the topic at hand this time, you thought... Oh, um... I think he's tired. <laughs> Keith, Keith is always tired. Let's, let's be real. Because he doesn't sleep. So. Yes, Keith is tired of both of them. You were tired of deciding between either of them. You didn't engage with their bickering and instead dreamt up your own dream house. Ooh, okay. And you weren't going to share your idea with them either. You already knew it was a good one. Because I'm Keith I... Pagani and I'm the king of pettiness. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably with Mothman. <laughs> yes. No, it's just like a little... It's literally just that desert shack he had in the show, but with like BuzzFeed unsolved posters everywhere. I <laughs> sips Capri Sun angrily. <laughs> you can swim wherever whenever you want to if you live on the beach. We can still swim anytime we want from where we live now. Being a little closer doesn't mean anything. Oh my gosh, and then Lizzie's gonna say like, Besides, I'll have a pool at my mansion and it'll be so much better than your stinky beach. <laughs> <laughs> Says you. The two of them scowled at each other. Not me fighting myself. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're being so unreasonable. You, you... I don't get what you want. This game doesn't make sense. It does. You have to be realistic. I said that. But you're not. You had no idea what to do to make them stop at this point. It seemed like the two of them would just keep working each other up as long as they could. Nothing you'd said so far had kept them from being mad. Thankfully, like a greeting card angel, Mom walked into the room. Lizzie rushed to her, hanging onto the hem of her shirt and poking out her tongue at Cove. Lance. I mean, ah, oh. what is that? That's like the third one, I think. Probably. Oh. I don't know. That's a post-editing you thing. <laughs> Lizzie, Keith, it's time to get ready to go. You all right with that? Sorry, you had to leave already, Lance. I'm so confused. Oh, what? Sorry, you had to leave already, Lance. Their mommy said she'll walk you home, so you won't be left in the cold. Lance was still glaring at Lizzie. His face flushed red with anger. I can't go by myself. But... Bye. Bye, Keith. Oh my gosh, you should have heard like the sound bit. It was like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and other. And other person in this room. There was still a harsh edge to the brief farewell, but you knew it wasn't you he was mad at. Without giving Mama a chance to stop him, Lance stood up and stalked out of the room, shoulders drawn tight. Huh? Okay. Worried. Okay. <laughs> Worried. Mom turned to look down at you and Lizzie. You two were playing nice with our new friend, weren't you? Mm. You lied. <laughs> you told the truth. Yeah, he would tell the truth. They were, they were fighting, Lance and Lizzie, for the whole time. <laughs> Your sister's jaw dropped, looking betrayed, <laughs> as her mom put both her hands on her hips. Like I love Lizzie, but we're staying in camp in, in um, character right now. Yeah, Elizabeth. 
<laughs> I told you to be kind to him. He's having a hard time right now. Lizzie's mouth closed back up, replaced by a tiny frown. <laughs> she could cry. I know. I tried, but he was wrong. <laughs> he was wrong. <laughs> Not you muting me for like 10 minutes on Discord. Yeah. <laughs> I stand by Lizzie. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh, my voice like cracked in the middle of the mom voice. <clears throat> no mom, buts. Mom, are you still going through puberty? <laughs> no buts. We both know you can show someone a great time when you put your mind to it. We're going to apologize to Lance and his dad over the phone when he gets home from work tonight. Lizzie hung her head, dragging a foot across the ground in front of her. Okay, Mom. Good girl. When I get older and I'm the president, I swear I'll get my revenge. <laughs> Outlaws Cove. Outlaws Lance. That doesn't count as a Cove counter thing, does it? Because we're that wasn't part of the story. No. Okay, good. I okay. She banishes Lance from the Fire Nation. <laughs> You caught pieces of Lizzie sulking to herself about how it was his fault too, but it was over. It wasn't even my fault. <laughs> I'm right and he's wrong. I I should ban him. Ban. <laughs> ban. Ah, right. We better get a move on. Let's go. Let's go, kids. No, Alani. Where did you leave the car keys? That is such a cool name. What? I I'm know. I've never really heard that name before. I think I might have heard it once, but that is such a cool name. <laughs> New scene! Oh my god, a car! Oh my gosh! It looks just like my car! Why is this a moment? We're not even with Lance. <laughs> a mom hustled you all out the door, and you noticed during the car ride to golf practice that Lizzie was quieter than usual. She was usually the first one to request which music to listen to in the car. All Star from Shrek. <laughs> She didn't say oh anything. <laughs> Your parents noticed she wasn't in a mood to be bothered. They gave her space and mommy just asked you what you'd like to listen to. You picked your favorite song, Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. No. <laughs> <laughs> um... He chose the soundtrack to a cool movie. Also, Shrek. You s I need to calm down. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Do we cheer up Lizzie? I, I, I feel like it's either one or three. Yeah, it's either one or three. Um. Well, okay. He's eight right now. So he probably doesn't listen to much music other than Baby Shark. Which means my chemical <laughs> romance is out of the picture. <laughs> so we'll just play All Star. Yeah, we'll be we'll be nice to our sister. Somebody once told me <laughs> the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> oh my god, did you start singing a <laughs> You were happy to see it brighten her up right away, and she started singing along with you. Sing with me, AJ. She Somebody. was looking oh. Oh. Wait, wait, are we starting from the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing this. Continue. No, no, we have to. No, it's look, it says she started singing along no, with me. No, I can't do it. I can't do no, it. No, you have to. You have to. Okay, ready? From the beginning. <clears throat> One, two, three. Somebody, Somebody once told me <laughs> the world <laughs> is gonna it. roll me. I ain't the sharp. You're not singing with me. I, I did the first word. <laughs> Soon enough. Her bad mood was a thing of the past. Of course, how can you be in a bad mood while listening to Shrek music? It's impossible. I... When the car ride was oh, over- Oh, this is such a pretty background. This is. The person who made like the art for this is like so talented. I wish I could- Immaculate. Look at this, look at this, look at this talent. When the car ride was over, you spent the twilight hour watching Lizzie hit things with other girls her age. You didn't know much about golf, but you could tell that she really liked it. So you sat with your moms and tried to puzzle it out. It was nice sitting outside after being cooped up in the house all day, and you stretched out your legs to let the last few minutes of sun warm your skin. 
When the sun was finally out of sight, dipping behind the horizon, you all got ready to leave. This is so pretty. What? Ooh, another background thing. <laughs> Instead of going straight home, your moms took the family out to dinner. You went to a restaurant you had all been going to ever since you could remember. The whole afternoon had been a bunch of shouting you hadn't been able to stop, but you could kind of tell that all this helped Lizzie be less angry. The car ride home was quiet, with only the radio providing escape from silence. Somebody once told me, but softly. <laughs> Somebody once told me. The world is gonna, gonna roll me. Roll me. <laughs> Lizzie hadn't, uh, I mean, Lizzie had been in better spirits now, but the closer you got to your neighborhood, the more she wiggled in her seat and frowned out the no. window. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They know. They're, they're purposely doing this. She knew what was coming when you all got back home. Clearly, she was dreading it. Soon enough, Mom was turning onto your street and reversing into the driveway. Once she cut the ignition, it was dead silent. No one spoke, only unbuckled their seatbelts and opened their doors. Lizzie was the last one out. <clears throat> Once everybody was inside and done taking off their shoes, she propped her hands on her hips. So, now then, Mr. Holden's car is in his driveway, so he should be back from work. That's good news, isn't it, Elizabeth? You and Lance can hash things out before the day's done. Look at this, it's full name reading. That's how you know she's in know. trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Lizzie didn't complain or put up a fight. Her head ducked so she didn't have to meet anyone's eyes. She nodded once. She has been shamed. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Let's move this to the kitchen. Mom went over to the house phone, the rest of you falling behind her. Mommy put a gentle hand on Lizzie's shoulder as they walked side by side. You watched them from the back. This was only happening because you told on Lizzie. <laughs> you didn't regret it! You felt a I... little guilty like you had betrayed your sister. It oh, was her I fault if for doing it. lying or not was a big choice. Huh? I wonder if lying or not would have given like a different ending. Oh, I don't know. Um. Um. I, I think. I think, the third one. I think we do that. Yeah, that had to. Yeah. Wait, I forgot. Does do the moments actually add up to how Lance feels in the end or no? I thought there was something saying like it doesn't, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't know for sure. Okay, well if it does, then we probably scored points with Lance for this. Right? Probably. It, be better. It, it he is. he better be grateful. We betrayed our sister for this. <laughs> <laughs> you hadn't liked doing it, but had to. Being a tattletale didn't feel good, and you wouldn't want someone else to tell your moms everything you did. Still, your mom had asked directly, and you wanted to be a liar even less. Yes, Keith is a good boy. Keith is a good boy. Good boy, Keith. The four of you stood around the kitchen in a lopsided square. All eyes were on Lizzie, who kept her gaze on her feet. You remember the number for Lance's house, don't you, honey? Lizzie jerked her head in another nod, sullen. Without further prompting, she stepped forward and be she began to dial. Oh, a phone. Mom reached over and- <laughs> A phone. <laughs> a phone, you know what that means. Money. 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 Mom reached over and pressed a button on the base. Suddenly, you could hear the phone ringing. She turned on the speaker. The phone rang a couple of times, then stopped. Mr. Holden's warm voice- I mean, okay, apparently Holden is their last name. So we should be calling him Mr. McLean. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mr. McLean's warm voice came through the other end. Evening, Holden residence. <laughs> I just said you're called him McLean. Oh my god. <laughs> Evening, uh, McLean residence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lizzie looked over at Mommy, unsure. She nodded encouragingly. Hi, Mr. Holden. It's, um, Lizzie. Can I talk to Co? <laughs> you just said, like, all Lance. the actual names. McLean. Lance. <laughs> oh, 
my gosh, we're <laughs> struggling. Absolutely. Lizzie Kogane, what a surprise. But of course you can say hey to the boy. The boy. The boy. <laughs> he sounded cheery as usual, though definitely meant it when he said it was a surprise. You thought hard, and you were sure that your sister had never called Lance's house before. But of course, Keith had, because he'd be like, Hey, Lance, want to come over and have a play date? Yo, Lance. Emph emphasis <laughs> on the date? Let's have a play date, minus the play. <laughs> Mom spoke up before Mr. McLean or Lizzie could say anything more. Her arms were crossed over her chest, her lips pursed. Hi, Cliff. Noelani, Keith, and I are here, too. Good evening. We're sorry to bother you so late. I make her sound like a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a werewolf. Oh, she does. The other mom is a vampire, obviously. Or a siren. Yeah. Either one. No, you know what? Mr. McLean is like a merman. And then... We say nothing. <laughs> yeah. You said nothing Keith to Lance's like... dad. Keith is just... I, I want Lance, not Lance's dad. <laughs> I want, I don't want 99 cent store older lands. <laughs> <laughs> you shifted from one foot to another, but remained where you were. The gang's all here, huh? Is something the matter? This guy talks like, like memes, like, like the gang's all here. <laughs> no, <laughs> he talks like you. <laughs> he talks like me. His voice grew a bit concerned. Mommy was quick to reassure him. Mr. McLean is someone who would definitely play all-star in the car. Mm. Uh, wait, which one is this? Oh, no, well, yes, but it's going to be okay. Lizzie and Cove got into a bit of a fight Lance. today. I'm, ah, gosh <laughs> dang it. That's like, what, five or six now? Yeah. yeah. Lizzie, and Li Lizzie and Lance got into a bit of a fight today. We were hoping that the two of them could talk and make it up. Is this a good time for you and Lance? What? A fight? <laughs> uh oh. Cove didn't tell me that anything. Ah! Cove didn't. Uh, no. Lance. <laughs> Lance didn't tell me anything about that when I came home. It does explain the funk he's been in tonight. Funk. Funk. Dear Lord. <laughs> Just this man is from the 80s. I mean, he probably is, but still. He chuckled lightly. Despite that, it didn't seem like he really thought it was funny. Ahem. Anyway, it's good. You didn't catch us at a bad time. I'll go grab him for you. There was some shuffling on the other end. He must not have gone far because he could still hear him calling out. Hey, boy. <laughs> Lance. There's somebody on the phone for you. <laughs> Yo, boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come here, little man. Do you want to take uh, Lance's dad and then you want to switch him with one of the moms since he talks like he? Nah, nah. I'll stick with the moms. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> After a beat of silence, there was more muffled talking from Lance's dad. One second, sorry. Cool. So how y'all doing? We're just waiting here. Um, what if I just start like screeching karaoke into this karaoke mic, and then he comes back, and then I just some bud. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bud. I was Lizzie just called so she could talk to you. I was gonna start from the chorus. Keith's on the other end listening too. Don't you want to say hi to Keith? <laughs> of course he does. How could you not say hi to, to Keith? It took, a, <laughs> it took a bit of back and forth, though the conversation seemed one-sided since you couldn't hear Lance properly. Eventually, Lance took the phone from his dad. Hi. Hello. Hi, Lizzie. Is this you, you little jerk? I never want to see you again. <laughs> Hangs up. <laughs> Hangs up like Peppa uh, Pig. Hey, it's Lizzie. Yeah, 
I know. Dad told me. <laughs> this kid's like Todoroki. Lance's tone. <laughs> They're both already angry. <laughs> Lance's tone was defensive. Lizzie turned to mom, scowling. One stern look from her, though, and Lizzie turned away. Sorry. I just called to say I'm sorry for not playing nice with you today. I won't be as much of a tyrant le next time. <laughs> Lizzie's eyes were downcast, her voice low. You could tell she felt uncomfortable apologizing to Lance in front of everyone. Yeah, shame. Pedestal of shame. <laughs> <laughs> She was still being genuine about feeling bad. Lance must have realized that too because he sighed quietly. Mm. I want gold. And I think Keith should win too. Aha! See? Look at this. Being <laughs> besties. <laughs> Two bros. <laughs> no. Really? They're eight. <laughs> oh, true, true. We'll, we'll save that for the teenage years. Okay, we'll save that for the teenage years. <laughs> really? He thought you were worth gold even though you hadn't even wanted it? Yes, in Lance's eyes, wow. you are worth gold, Keith. <laughs> Lizzie was momentarily stunned silent by the demand. She probably forgot that even happened already. Wow, I really am Lizzie. I was going to say that, but... <laughs> You really are, though. All right. We all win the gold. Well, actually, I get diamonds. <laughs> Diamond okay. beads are important. I guess I'm sorry, too. A sense of relief washed over everyone at his acceptance of the apology. Great. Now, let me, little Keith, talk to him, okay? Give me the phone. Hand it over. Clan's time. <laughs> Mom uncrossed her arms while Mommy's shoulders relaxed. Lizzie's eyebrows raised up. You wondered if she thought he'd refuse her apology. <laughs> Dad, can I leave now? <laughs> no, you have to talk to me first. Talk to Keith. <clears throat> you couldn't see him, but it was obvious that Lance felt awkward about the situation. He had come off uncomfortable the entire time, really. Yeah. Yeah, you can go back to your room if you want. Be sure to say goodbye first, though. Um, bye, Lizzie. <laughs> uh. And Keith. <laughs> Keith. Bye. Bye. Oh. 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 <laughs> Look, and he smiles as he says it. Look at this. Bye, Keith. <laughs> You perked up at the mention of your name. <gasps> Senpai noticed me? Oh my god, no. <laughs> you smiled even if he couldn't see it. Bye, Lance. The only thing Keith says during the entire phone call. I know. This, <laughs> this was a great Bond episode for us and, yes. Keith and, for us and Lance. Oh, yes. With that said, Lance must have handed the phone to his dad and left since Mr. McLean spoke up. That's a relief. All's well that's end that ends well, as they say. Thanks for arranging this. I'm sure he appreciates it. As mom replied, Lizzie tugged on mommy's hand to catch her attention. Can I go now too? Good job. Sure, sweetie. Thank you very much for apologizing to Lance. Mom flashed a brief smile at Lizzie and nodded her agreement. Given permission to leave, Lizzie scurried off towards the stairs. She seemed to be feeling much better with the incident behind her. Mom and Mommy returned to the phone, taking it off the speaker. They continued talking to Mr. McLean. You couldn't tell what about. The wedding. From the previous episodes. <gasps> Planning engagement. <laughs> Arranged marriage. You were glad that was the end of it all. Lizzie and Lance might not get along, and probably still won't, but they weren't mad at each other anymore. Mom and Mommy weren't upset either. Everything was finally back to normal. With that thought, you retreated to your own room with a spring in your step. Wow, that was it. Wow, moment two. 
Wow. Amazing. Do what a want... great what a great episode. Are, are we gonna end the episode at the end of every moment or are you gonna do Yeah, I think we moments? should do every at the end of every moment because moments are kind of long right. anyway. So yeah. Alrighty. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And um we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.